In a social media post commemorating Prince Harry's 40th birthday, Buckingham Palace did not remove Meghan Markle from the picture. When it became apparent that the Duchess had been edited out of the photo, which was shot while the couple was a working royal couple, eyebrows were raised. Photographer Jimmy Rainford captured the moment on July 11, 2018, when Harry and Meghan were visiting the Dublin startup Dogpatch Labs. Wishing the Duke of Sussex a very happy 40th birthday today was the message last night on King Charles and Queen Camilla's at Royal Family account on X. After that, Prince William and Kate also shared the image on social media, adding a note of their own that said, Happy 40th birthday to the Duke of Sussex. However, picture archives have subsequently made it clear that there were really two releases of the image at the time in 2018, one featuring Harry, Meghan, and four other individuals having a conversation, and another featuring only Harry. Harry strikes the exact same position in both pictures, indicating that the original photographer at the time clipped him out of two into one. Furthermore, the Press Association sent Buckingham Palace this raw image, which was then released without any trimming. After leaving the working monarchy, Harry now resides in California. He celebrated his birthday yesterday with Meghan, Prince Archie, and Princess Lilibet. Then, he is reported to be leaving for a get-together with close pals. In addition, Harry honored one of Meghan Markle's closest pals on Saturday by going to a tennis match in support of charity. To honor Kelly McKee Zachvin's late son George, the Duke and Duchess made an appearance at the George Zachvin Tennis Tournament in Los Angeles. The Alliance for Children's Rights event honored George, who passed away in July 2022 at the age of nine after his family's home was discovered to be unresponsive. Zachvin, a co-founder of the alliance that assists pregnant and parenting teenagers in the foster care system, and Meghan are well known to be close friends. Yesterday, the day of Harry's birthday, model Zachvin and her family expressed gratitude to the Sussexes for their support during the competition on Saturday through an Instagram post. At the conclusion of a lengthy message, they included five images and said, Extra special day too. Happy birthday! May this solar journey be the most enjoyable one yet. After a turbulent year in which the King and the Princess of Wales received cancer diagnoses, Harry is about to enter his fifth decade. Harry rushed across the Atlantic to see his father when the King's shocking health news was revealed in February, but their 45-minute encounter was all that was spent together. The Duke told the BBC in remarks that he was excited about 40 and that becoming a father had given him a newfound sense of purpose to make this world a better place. He also claimed that he was nervous about 30. Harry has had a busy year. He has trained with Invictus Games athletes in Canada, tried his hand at skeleton bobsledding, and traveled to Colombia and Nigeria on quasi-royal tours. Meghan spoke at a panel on Afro-descendant women in power in Colombia, sharing how her daughter Lily, who is three years old, has absolutely found her voice. The office of Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, is the new name for the Archwell website, which the couple also updated as Sussex.com. In May, Harry went to London to commemorate 10 years of his Invictus Games, and he went to a liturgy at St. Paul's Cathedral. However, he did not see his father or brother. Birmingham was awarded the proposal to host the competition in 2027, and the Duke expressed his congratulations to the city for their achievement. It appears that he will be at the Games in the UK in three years. Harry was given the Pat Tillman Award for Service in July by sports channel ESPN, in recognition of his efforts to change the world via sports. However, Mary, Tillman's mother, allegedly voiced her surprise that such a controversial and divisive individual received the honor. Her support for Pat's legacy is extremely personal and one that I admire, Harry Tillman said in his remarks, praising Mrs. Tillman. A mother's and a son's bond is unbreakable and endures even the most devastating losses. His legal struggle with the Home Office over his protection while in the UK has reportedly frustrated the King, according to the source. Harry was granted permission to appeal after the Home Office's decision to alter his personal protection level when he visits the UK was challenged in February in the High Court. In the course of the hearing, the court was informed that Harry feels his children cannot feel at home in the UK if it is not possible to keep them safe there, and that he is more vulnerable than his late mother because of added layers of racism and extremism. In another instance, Meghan began a new endeavor by soft-launching her brand American Riviera Orchard by sending her pals limited-edition strawberry jam. However, 
the company has encountered difficulties in its trademark application process. December marks the release of Harry's brand new Netflix documentary series about the sport of polo. The Duke spent a brief time back in the UK in August, staying at Althorpe, the family home of his late mother Diana, Princess of Wales, for the funeral of his uncle Lord Fellows. It is reported that he did not converse with William during the church service. Later this month, the Duke will visit New York for his Archwell Foundation and attend events hosted by African Parks, the Halo Trust, the Diana Award, and Travelist.